Uh, today we are going to discuss the male and female reproductive organs of animals. Uh, as the reproductive physiology is concerned, it requires uh, to know about the male and a female reproductive organs of the animals whenever the reproduction takes place the female and the male gametes has to join to each other to make a zygote and proceed for a regeneration reproducing of the of his prints. Uh, so the animal reproductive physiology is that the reproduction is the process by which the animals produce offsprings for the purpose of containing the species. The process of a reproduction begins with copulation, which is the mating of a male and a female of the species. A sperm cells from the male are deposited in the female reproductive tract and try to unite with an egg cell. When fertilization is sperm cell and the egg cell unites, occurs and the embryo begins to develop, which uh, after our development, the embryo attaches to the wall of the uterus where it is protected, receive nourishment and develops when the new offspring reaches the end of the gestation period it is delivered from the female reproductive tract in a process called parturition to completely understand the process of a reproduction a basic knowledge of the reproductive tract structures and functions is required the sexual reproductive reproduction in animals male uh, produces the gametes uh, that is known as a sperm and the gonads are the product factory or gonads are known as the testes and many sperm cells spermatogenesis has to take place and the sperm cells are uh, haploid and monoploid Whereas the female gametes uh, egg or ovum is produced from the gonad, that's ovary, few to many eggs, oogenesis has to take place to produce the eggs. Uh, eggs are haploid or monoploid in the uh, structure. So the sperm simala uh, that swims through a liquid head, middle, and the tail is a flagellum. Uh, like a structure and it is moving uh, through a female reproductive tract to reach at a fallopian tube where the egg has to be fertilized. Egg is larger than a body cell and cannot move on its own. It is a round shape. So the structures and the functions of a male reproductive system, the major functions of the male reproductive system includes production, storage, deposition of sperm cells, production of male sex hormones, and serves as a passage way for expelling the urine from the urinary bladder. The uh, urogenital system is uh, having a, in the female or in the male, uh, they have uh, only a single opening from which the uh, sperm uh, from which the genetic material and as well as the urination is performed. So the male reproductive system is made up of a several organs, glands and muscles. So the uh, in this uh, uh, the uh, structure you can see that the uh, animal having an ampulla anus then the body of penis and the 
bulbo-urethral glands, then the uh, muscles, cremestral muscle, and then the different, uh, the duct, that is the vast difference, and the epididymis, glands, pen, penis, and then the inguinal ring, left testes, and the pelvis, and the prostate gland, then the flectium, uh, the rectum, and then the sigmoid uh, S-shaped structure, sigmoid flexor is known as the sigmoid flexor, and then the uh, there is a scrotum, then the sheath and tunic uh, dartrous muscle, and then urethra, urinary bladder, and vascular glands. The male macrostructures and the functions, the testes and related structures are that the testes are uh, present in a pair and wide in shape uh, and that produce the sperms and testosterone. The testosterone is the male sex hormone that is responsible for a development of a secondary male characteristics and a sex behavior which is known as a libido. A spermatic cord, a protective fiber sheath consisting of smooth muscle, blood vessels and nerves, cremester muscle, primary muscle supporting the testes and forcing the length of a spermatic cord, a scrotum is a sac outside the body cavity that protects and supports the testes. Uh, male macro macrostructures and functions are the spermatic cord extends from the body through the inguinal ring to suspend the testes within the scrotum. The cremestral muscle, spermatic cord, tunica dartrous muscle raise and lower the testes to maintain a constant temperature that is a four to six degree below the body temperature for sperms to develop. Mostly the uh, epididymis and the related structures are connected with the testes. That's the epididymis, a coiled tube connected to a each testis that is responsible for maturation, storage, and transport of sperm cells. Different ducts, like a vast difference, parts of the spermatic cord, that is the passage for a sperms from an epididymis to the urethra. Ampullae and uh, enlargement of the different, different duct the, that opens into the urethra and may serve as a temporary storage depot for sperms. The urethra, a passage of both semen and urine that extends from the ampullae and the bladder to the end of the penis. So accessory glands, the accessory glands are responsible for the production of the secretions that contribute to the liquid non-cellular portion of the semen known as a seminal plasma. The semen and ejaculate are terms given to the plus the added accessory failures the vesicu uh, vesicular glands, seminal vesicles, paired accessory glands that secretes the seminal fluid that nourishes the sperms and provide the protection and transportation medium for sperm upon ejaculation. Prostate glands secretes the thick milky fluid that mixes with the seminal fluid to provide a nutrition and a substance to the semen. Bulbo-urethral glands are, uh, which is known as a cowper's gland, and uh, the that secretes the fluid that clean, cleanses and neutralizes the urine residue that can kill sperm cells in the urethra. So uh, the last opening where the the and the ejaculation takes place, the penis, the organ. Uh, that allows for the deposition of a semen into the female, female reproductive tract. The penis of the Australian is a vascular, which means that it depends on the 
engorgement of a blood within the certain tissues for erection to occur and it forms no sigmoid plexa when relaxed. The penises of the bull, ram, boar are a fibroelastic, which means that they are primarily composed of a connective tissue and depend little on blood for erection. The rear portion of the fibroelastic type penis forms an S-shaped cow, which is known as a sigmoid plexa when relaxes. The retractor penis muscles, the muscles that contract retract the penis and form the sigmoid plexa and relaxes to extend the penis upon sexual excitement. The sheath external portion of the male reproductive tract that serves to protect the penis from injury and infection. The microscopic, uh, um, the male microscopic and the functions are that the microscopic cellular parts within the testes produce the sperm cells and the testes to run that's known as spermatogenesis refers to the development of a sperm cells sper spermatozoa through a process of a cell division and maturation seminiferous tubules the tubule structures that coil throughout the testes and are the site of uh, spermatogenesis the spermatozoa that's the sperm cells applied gametes of the male that are motile and uh, tadpole like the uh, and once mature the sperm cells proceed to the epididymis where they are stored until the ejaculation are absorbed by the body unusual climatic conditions extremely high temperature or stress on the male can temporarily halt the sperm cell production causing a reproductive failure upon breeding. Interstitial cells, which is known as the cells of alighting, groups of a cell between the seminiferous tubules that produce a testosterone. The testosterone and an androgen, androgen hormone that directs the development of a secondary male characteristics and influence the libido. So the reproductive system of a male as the bull, ram, stallion, and the boar having a testis, pair of the testes, scrotum, epididymis, spermatic cars, ductus difference, seminal vesicles, ejaculator duct, urethra, pro prostate glands, corpus gland, and penis. The mostly the summary of the accessory sex glands in the various species is that the bull has an impula and the bulbourethral uh, gland and the prostate gland and vesicular gland whereas the ram possesses the impula bulbourethral uh, uh, structure but the prostate glands are absent and the vesicular glands are present whereas the stallion has the impula bulbourethral uh, structure, prostate, and the vesicular glands, where the bulb uh, uh, do not possess the ampulla, but having a bulbourethral uh, structure, prostate, and the vesicular glands. Dog, uh, dog has an ampulla, but uh, bulbourethral opening is absent, whereas the prostate glands are present. Vesicular glands are absent in the dog. Whereas the tom, the cat male, uh, does not uh, have, possess the ampulla, but it has a bulbourethral uh, structure, prostate glands, but do not possess the vesicular glands. The buck has a ampulla, uh, bulbourethral structure, prostate glands are absent in the buck, whereas the vesicular glands are present. So the eject of uh, uh, the semen, uh, the volume uh, in the bowl is a 5 to 10 ml, whereas the stallion may produce the semen from a 60 to 100 ml, whereas the ram has to produce only a 0 0.8 to 1.2 ml, where the boar can produce a 150 to 200 ml semen in a one ejaculation, whereas the a sperm uh, uh, per ejaculation uh, in a billion that is a 
five to fifteen hundred billion times are present in the bull. Five to fifteen hundred uh, billions uh, are present in the Australian. One point six to three point six billion sperms are present in one ejaculation, whereas the boar is possessing thirty to sixty billion sperms in one ejaculation. The concentration in the millions per ml is 800 to 2000, whereas in the stallion that is a 150 to 300, whereas the ram is possessing a 2000 to 3000, uh, the concentration of millions per ml, 2000 to 200 to 300 concentration is present per ml uh, in the boar. Whereas the pH of the bull is 6.7 to 7.8, Australian has a 7.2 to 7.8. The pH of the ram is 5.9 to 7.3, whereas the boar has a uh, 7.3 to 7.8 is the alkaline nature. So the bull uh, having uh, the uh, rectum, impula, the vascular glands, the prostate glands, and as well as bulbo urethral glands, and even the uh, left and uh, the testicle, and then uh, there is a, a prostate glands and the uh, penis and vas deferens and testes, scrotum, uh, and as well as uh, it has a Muscles. So you can see this. These are the two testes, and ha having an attachment with uh, uh, the epididymis. Then the epididymis has a uh, body tail, and it is uh, having a vast difference at uh, the uh, the uh, urethral opening, and the urethra is, uh, opens into the penis, where there is a sigmoid structure in the bull that is known as a uh, sigma plexa, S shaped, face shape, where mostly there is obstruction uh, and the calculi always being obstructed over the sigma plexa. So, this is the uh, Australian having a uh, no sigma structure but having a testicles, uh, the epididymis, the rectum, impula, then the vesicular gland, the prostate gland, the bulbo urethral gland and the uh, the vas deferens and the cars and even the scrotum testis and uh, the uh, epididymis and the tail and urethral uh, process. So the stalin having a same structure like that one and the boar having a, the rectum vesicular gland then the uh, having uh, the bulbo urethral gland and the uh, uh, anus and even the scrotum testis and the capit of epididymis was different, uh, free end of a penis and then the dorsal diversion of the sheath. So this is the testicle, uh, two testicles are present having a uh, spermatic cord, uh, the epididymis, having a tail of epididymis, the body of the epididymis, it is opens to the vast difference, it goes into the urethral opening, and then it is connected with the penis and it is ejaculated from the impula. The secondary male characteristics, uh, the secondary male characteristics include the coarse hairs, the horns, and that are long and large at the base, a deep voice and pronounced muscularity. So this is the uh, characteristics, male characteristics by which externally uh, we can observe the testicles, the penis, which is the identical for a male to differentiate from the female and the male bull. So the female reproductive, the female reproductive uh, system is made up of uh, several organs with a specific function like uh, the animal having a, uh, the anus, the, the, uh, then the vulva, uh, then the vagina, then cervix, and then the rings in the cervix, and then the uh, uterine body, uterine horns, uh, fallopian tube, and the ovaries. 
two ovaries are uh, present in a one cow. So the ovaries are paired structures that produces the eggs are ova and the female hormones estrogen and a progesterone. Broad ligament, ligaments that support the female reproductive tract and arteries, bands and nerves of the ovaries in the abdominal cavity. Oviducts, the fill-up in tubes, pair tubes that uh, transport the eggs from the ovaries to the uterus and serves as the site where the sperm and the ova meet and fertilization occurs. Enfidibulum, uh, two funnel-like openings of the oviducts that pick up the eggs at the ovulation and direct them to the body of the oviduct. The uterus, um, a major reproductive organ that consists of a uterine body and two uterine horns. The embryo attaches to the uterine body or a uterine horn, depending on the species. The uterus varies in shape between livestock species, from long uterine horns of the sow to relatively a short uterine horns in the mare. The functions of the uterus include the passage way for sperm during a copulation, incubation and nourishment of an embryo during the pregnancy, and expulsion during the parturition by contractions. Vagina, that is a reproductive structure that serves as the receptacle for the penis during the copulation and the birth canal at parturition. It also serves as a passageway for expelling the liquid wastage, waste as the urethra joins the ur uh, urinary bladder to the vagina prior to the opening uh, at the vulva. Cervix, that, that is a thick walled mass of a connected tissue with a small tube like opening that joins the uterus to the Vagina, it serves as the passageway for a semen during copulation. It also contains the glands that secretes a waxy like substance that seals of the uterus during pregnancy and between heat period to protect against infection, disease, and foreign matters. Vulva, the external portion of the female reproductive tract that serves to protect the internal system from infection to initially receive the penis at the population and to act as a passage bay for urine. Clitorius is a sensory erectile organ just inside the vulva. The oogenesis is the process of a producing a ova in the follicles of the ovaries. The oogonia cells develops in the ovaries of the fetus and matures into oocytes by birth. Only a small propor proportion of uh, oocytes develops into a ova and reach ovulation. Follicles, it is a blister-like uh, mass on the surface of the ovary that contains a developing ovum and produces and stores estrogen. The follicle secretes estrogen as a signal to the rest of the reproductive tract to prepare for ovulation and release the ovum from a mature follicles. The female macro structure and the functions are a corpus hemorrhagicum, a small hemorrhage or a blood clotted area that develops at the site of a ruptured follicle and lasts within a two to three days. Then the corpus letum, a yellow body, uh, of the cells that develops in the place of the corpus hemorrhagicum and produces progesterone. The progesterone is the female sex hormone that functions to prepare the female reproductive cyst system or a pregnancy. It is produced by the corpus letum and lasts about 12 days unless the ovum is fertilized. Corpus albicans a white body of a connective tissue that is the result of the degeneration and reabsorption of lethal cells. So regression of the corpus lithium will be uh, formed into a corpus albicans. The oogenesis is a part of the estrocycle. The number of ova produced per cycle 
varies with each species. A cow or the mare normally produce a one ovum per cycle. The a Eve produces two ova per cycle, so produces uh, eight to a 15 ova per cycle. The functions of the female reproductive system includes produce egg cells, that's known as ova, serve as a receptacle for the penis during the copulation, and house and nourish the fetus until parturition. The reproductive system of a female mammals as cow, e, mare, camel, and the so consists of the uh, vagina, fornix, cervix, uterine body, infundibulum, oviduct, ovaries, uh, the uh, uh, mesomerium, and uh, then the uterine hands, uterine body. The uh, 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 this uh, picture shows that the anus, the broad uh, ligaments, the cervix, uh, clitoris, then the infundibulum, ovary, uh, oviduct, uh, the pelvis, uh, then the rectum, uh, urethral opening, urinary bladder, uterine body, the uterine hands, vagina, vulva. So you can see in this picture that uh, uh, broad ligaments, cervix, clitoris, in, uh, infundibulum, ovary, oviduct, urethral opening, then the uterine body, uterine hands, the vagina, and the vulva. The uh, uh, cow has a ovary a size, a length and breadth is 3.5 to 1.5 to a, a five, uh, up to a 5 whereas the, in a buffalo cow, it is a 1.5 to 2.5 or 2.4 in a weight, whereas, whereas the uh, whereas the female camel having a 2.6 to 3.3 and mare has a 4 to 8. I mean, uh, the uh, four is the length and the eight is the breadth. The E has a 1.4 to, uh, and the breadth is a 1.5. Uh, the shape of the cow ovary is ovid, uh, and the buffalo ovary is a ovid, and the uh, female camel have a bunch of a grafts, whereas the mare has a bean-shaped ovary, and the eve and the doe have almoyan uh, shape. So the pelvic cavity uh, that that the uh, ovaries are present in the pelvic cavity, but in the mare it is at a sub, a sub lumbar region, and the uh, pre ovulation follicles may have to produce 1.5 to 2 centimeter follicle that the premature follicle uh, pre ovulation stationary follicle in the buffalo cow is 1.2 to 1.8, whereas the uh, the female of the camel is possessing a 1.3 to 2 centimeters, whereas the uh, mare uh, follicle is 4 to uh, 5 centimeters, whereas the eaves and the doe have a 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 centimeters. The carpus lutum of the uh, cow is 2 to Three centimeters, and uh, the buffalo have a 1.6 to 2.5 centimeters, whereas the female camel having a 1.4 to 2.1, and the uh, mare has a 1.5 to 2 centimeters, whereas the eve have a 0.9 to 1.4 centimeters. Ovarium bursa is less developed and. Uh, Whereas the in the female camels it is completely covered the ovary, whereas uh, in the other animals it is uh, less developed. Oviduct length is a uh, 20 to 30 centimeters in the cow and 18 to 25 centimeters in the buffalo, 17 to 28 centimeters in the camel and 30 to 20 centimeters in the uh, mare and 15 centimeters in the eve and the door. 
opening in a uterine horn is gradually, whereas the via the narrow orifice and via the narrow orifice in the female camel and even a female mare, gradually it enters. So if you see the uh, uterine body, our uterine horns is uh, 20 to 40 centimeters in the cow, 18 to 34 centimeters in the buffalo, and 10 to 6 uh, or 8 to 15 centimeters uh, in the female camel, and 25 to uh, 20 centimeters in the mare, and 18 to 13, 10 to 13 centimeters in the eaves. So the body is uh, five centimeters, four centimeters in the buffalo, four centimeters in the female camel, and 20 centimeters in the male mare, and uh, 1.5 to 2 centimeters in the eve and doe. The shape uh, of the uh, rambles are shaped, and even the T shaped are Y shaped in the female camel, T and Y shaped in the mare, and uh, rambles but I like uh, um, remember I like uh, position in the eaves, whereas the the position of the uterus is in the pelvic cavity where uh, in all animals, whereas the endometrium is 120, uh, whereas uh, the this is 100 uh, in the uh, buffalo, whereas the poles are present in the female camel and the poles are present in the male whereas this, this is the 150 and the cervix length and diameter is 3.5 to 6.6 to 10 uh, centimeters and the like uh, uh, contractiles and 6 to 3.6 or 4.6 centimeters whereas the 5.2 to 10.4 centimeters and 3 to 5 centimeters in the eaves. Whereas the uh, mucosa and the canals, vagina having a different uh, sizes, which is written over here. So you will go through the table. The oviduct is at 25 centimeters in the cow, 15 to 16 centimeters in the eave, 20 to 30 centimeters in the mare, and 30 to 15 centimeters in the, the so so the uterus uh, uterus type is uh, uh, by perite uh, in all uh, and uh, the only in a so it is a biconate whereas uh, the horn is a 35 to 40 centimeters in the cow the e have a 10 to 12 centimeters whereas the mare has a 15 to 25 centimeters whereas the sow is a 40 to uh, 60 centimeters. Uh, the body is a 2 to 4 centimeters in the cow, whereas the eve have a 1 to 2 centimeters, whereas the mare have a 15 to 20 centimeters in the land and 5 centimeters in the sow. So the endometrium is a uh, cruncles uh, having a 40 to 120 cruncles in the uh, in the endometriums, whereas the cruncles in the eaves are uh, 96 to 88 cruncles and the uh, male have a, a permanent uh, lymphoid poles and uh, even the uh, slight imperial poles are present in the soul. The lemon is an annular rings, two to three, two to five rings are present, annular rings and uh, the compact um, poles and uh, uh, the cock screw-like uh, structure in the soul. The the opening of the uterus is a small and uh, protruding, small and protruding, clearly defined, and that is a three uh, per, uh, percent defined. Whereas the vagina is 20 to th 25 to 30 centimeters in length, where uh, in the cow, whereas the eve has 14 to 10 centimeters in the length, where the mare has a 35 to 20 centimeters in the length where the sow has a 15 to 20, 10 centimeters in the land. The uh, vestibule is a 12 to 10 centimeters and a 3 to 2.5 centimeters, 10 to 12 centimeters and at 6 centimeters in sow. So the comparative of a female reproductive tract, uh, this is a summary of uh, the organs. This is a bicornate 
the cow has a bark on it, the Eve has a bark on it, uterus, whereas the mare has a T or a Y shaped uh, the uh, bark on it, and uh, uh, the shape is very clear that the mare uh, having a ori like this one, and the cow has a corpus lithium. This is the bunch like uh, or a graphs like the ori is in the soul, and uh, the uh, the cow have possessing uh, the uh, oviduct uh, like uh, uh, T shape and bear is the the so and the mare has a T shape the uh, oviduct. If uh, you see the cow uh, having a uterine body and internal cervix os and the cervix is composed of a thick connective tissues, the cervix having a cow has a four to five annual rings and the external cervical os, the vagina, it's open. So this is the opening of the uh, uh, the uterus. Whenever the, the animal or cow is pregnant, this uh, cervix is closed. Or when the animal is uh, any stress, the cervix remains closed. The mucus is secreted near the time of a breeding and ovulation. The cervix of the mare is a longitudinal force, a uterine body, no obstacles in, in, the, in the canal, the uh, uh, foranex vagina, uh, whereas the foranex is absent in the so, but it is these uh, interdigitating uh, pairs in it, uh, so there the opening is very uh, uh, narrow to, pro to cross the sperm through the uh, cervix. So the cattle uh, having a bi uh, biprate uh, and uh, the mare has also a biprate tight uh, uterine type uh, uterus, where is the bicornate in the eaves, bicornate in the dough, bicornate in the sow, bicornate in a bitch, bicornate in a queens. Whereas the shape of the ovary uh, in the cattle is a oval, where is the mare has a kidney like uh, shape and the eaves has an almond-like shape and uh, also dough has an almond-like shape. The sow has an oval and the bitch has a mulberry uh, type and even the queens have the mulberry type. Type of the placenta is a cartilaginary in the cattle, uh, diffused in the mare, uh, cartilaginary in the eaves, cartilaginary in the dough, diffused in the sow and zunary in the bitch and zunary in the core. Uh, and the queens. So the type of the placenta is uh, ep epithelial, uh, uh, the epithelioic uh, uh, cornea uh, and epithelial uh, corneal, whereas the epithelial uh, co corneal in the all the animals. So uh, the 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 parameters that's uh, the camel. Uh, having uh, uh, the age uh, at the first parturition and the estrus uh, gestation period of the uh, camel is a uh, 12 months, the cattle has a uh, nine months, the goats has a uh, five months, sheep has a uh, five months. Age uh, uh, at the first uh, parturition uh, at the 60 months uh, in the camel, the 48 months in the cattle, 15 months in the goat, and 15 months in the sheep. The parturition interval month is a 26 months in the camel, 18 months uh, in the cattle, eight months in the goat, and eight months in the sheep. Where the life uh, expectancy, uh, uh, the camel uh, live for a 15 to 20 years, the cattle can live for a 10 to 12 years, the goat can live for a six, uh, years and the sheep can live for five months. Where the mean number of uh, the bus uh, per reproductive period, two to seven uh, in the camels, uh, 2.1 per cattle, six in the goats and five in the sheep. The maximum number of the bus reproductive period is a nine, in the cattle eight and in the goats 12 and in the sheep that is uh, the eight. So the reproductive uh, 
uh, tract of the females can be shown the so the cow uh, the uh, then the mare and eaves having a different shafts uh, and even they have a uh, vulva vagina then the cervix then the uterine body and uh, the uterine horns oviduct and the uh, ovaries so the uterine tissue that you can see that that uh, the diffused uh, placenta the cartilaginary placenta the dunaric placenta and disquiet placenta so th these are present in the uh, cow the uh, diffuse uh, cartilaginary placenta then the ears dunary uh, diffuse placenta and the mare has a uh, the cartilage uh, that is a diffuse placenta and the so so the now we are going to discuss the structure and functions of a reproductive system in a poultry the reproductive anatomy of the poultry differs when compared to that other animal species uh, the male poultry anatomy consists of a two testes, each with an epididymis and a vast difference that lead to the papillae and rudimentary capillary organ. Now, male reproductive uh, tract, the, unlike the other livestock species, the testes of a poultry are located within the abdominal cavity along the backbone. The epididymis, which is still functions in a sperm storage, is relatively small in relation to the testes. The vast difference extends from the epididymis to the cloaca and are located on each side of the vestibulum. The, these are the two paired testicles, then the epididymis, the kidney, and then the vast difference, the ureter, uh, Papilla, cloaca, and the mate. The male poultry reproductive tract, the vast difference extends from the epididymis to the cloaca and uh, uh, are located on each side of the vertebral uh, column. The vast difference functions in the transportation of a sperm and as a sperm reservoirs, the cloaca, the lower end of the avian digestive tract that provides a passageway for reproductive uh, 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 products of a urinary digestive and reproductive tract. So this is the single opening for a three urinary, uh, the three systems, that's the urinary system, digestive system, and reproductive tract, uh, having a single opening that is known as a cloaca. The papillae located at the end of the vast difference and on the floor of the cloaca that the papillae emits the semen into the cloaca of the female. So the phyllus, a rudimentary capillary organ uh, that becomes uh, engorged with a lymph during the mating, which allows the semen to, the, to be deposited uh, onto the female's averted cloacas. The phyllus is more uh, developed in ducks and geese. Androgen, the male sex hormone produced by the testes. Functions of andro androgen include the directing the sexual activity and the production of a sperm, controlling the secondary sexual characteristics of the male and influencing the social rank uh, are a pay order. Male uh, poultry reproductive tract is the secondary sexual characteristics of uh, includes the comb growth, growing, uh, uh, crowning or uh, gobbling, uh, spur development and male feathering. The female reproductive system in poultry, the functional parts of the female uh, poultry reproductive tract include the one ovary and oviduct and the cloaca. Mature female poultry have only a one functional ovary. The right ovary and the oviduct degenerate and cease the functioning before the birth reaches the sexual maturity. 
the oa appears as a cluster of a tiny gray balls that are the oocytes at a maturity the ovary contains up to 4000 tiny oocytes from which ovum may develop over time and ovum develops by collecting lipid particles from the blood to form the yolk The yolk contains fat for energy and some protein and other nutrients needed by the developing embryo as well as a small white dot called a blastodisc that contains the genetic information supplied by the female. When mature, the yolk is released by the follicles and engulfed by the infernibulum. The oviduct is about 25 inches long and and consists of a five parts, the infundibulum, uh, the magnum, uh, the isthmus, the uterus, and the vagina. Infundibulum is a funnel-like part of the oviduct that receives the yolk and is the site of a fertilization. Magnum is the second part of the oviduct that secretes the thick white or albumin. Isthmus is the third part of the oviduct that adds the two shell membranes. Uterus is the fourth part of the oviduct that secretes the thin white, the shell, the shell pigment. Vagina, the last part of the oviduct that holds the egg until it is laid. From the oviduct, the egg passes to the cloaca and then out of the body through the vent at the time of laying. In addition, uh, to producing a ova, the ovary produces the female sex hormone, which is known as the estrogen and the hormone androgen. The androgen hormone stimulates the comb growth and the wax with other hormones in egg production. In poultry, the functions of the estrogen includes stimulating the growth of the oviduct, increasing the size of a cloaca during an egg laying, and modifying the feather shape and pigmentation of the female and increasing the level of a fat, phosphorus and calcium in the blood. Thank you very much. This is the uh, end of uh, this lecture and uh, you can uh, watch this uh, lecture on uh, uh, YouTube and as well as you can even uh, watch this one on the Microsoft team. Uh, if you have to listen again and go through this one and especially the uh, repeaters should have to follow these lectures on my YouTube channel.